we have here in the continuing series of toys that never were was a product I worked on as design manager at Cap Candy. This is the officially Pez licensed product called Power Pez. Power Pez is the whirling twirling dancing candy machine. It was the first ever motorized Pez dispenser. Similar to the product that actually was released, you'll notice the round design. Uh, but this version here is the magazine breech load, which was originally intended to load like a Pez dispenser and then divide the candies up into each individual chamber and then eject them. So I'm going to open it up. This is a product that was made, actually rushed from the Orient for Toy Fair in 1995 in New York. So this product that you're about to see and its display box is one of the only known existing configurations in the breech design. So this is the display box. It had a header card that would flip up. There would be three rows of four. Uh, I have five of the original 12. Uh, the other remaining seven are not necessarily out there, but uh, they, they, they do exist. They were produced. Most likely they're in the hands of former employees and friends and associates of those employees. However, uh, I have five. Uh, they would have come all come in this configuration, which is a shrink wrap with two Pez candies. The label is not a production label. This was built internally, so we printed these out, and as you can see, it's starting to fade and bleed, so this is an uh, in-house prototype label. But the plastic was all from the first shots of the plastic tools in this design, and then the Try Me feature had this yellow push bar, and this bar would protect it while shipping is also a demonstrable uh, action, so you would push this and you'd see all the chambers dancing around. So that is how they would all come, and the magazine would load very much like a regular Pez. You would lift open, you'd stuff your Pez's inside, close it, and then the way this would work is you'd rotate, and each little Pez would then correspond to a revolving chamber. As you can see, there's one loaded here. Just like the piece that was actually produced without the breech magazine, they would all dance around, rotate 360 degrees, and then when they made the ejection port, they'd be kicked out. The Genesis. This is the original hand-built prototype, again with the magazine design, but this was a this is a urethane casting model of the prototype, and these were built as proof of concept models to initially accompany the salespeople and also meet with PES for licensing and whatnot. So uh, this again is a one-off. Uh, there may have been two of these, I cannot recall, but here's one of the original. There was no more than two. And that is the 12 count display box for the whirling, twirling, dancing candy machine known as Power Pack.